Hi guys, my bad I'm back again. I have a couple more products here to show you today. Um, these were actually my birthday presents, so I'm excited. I never owned these before and always wanted one. And I have, um, just for the cute factor, some of you have been watching my um, Facebook wall, and here's Petrie, our baby puppy that we rescued and taken care of. And she wasn't going to make it before, she was a runt. As you can see, she's pretty big now. She was, a uh, she was less than a quarter of a pound, but there she is, this Petrie. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Okay, enough for the cuteness factor. Maybe I'll get some, um, better for use because of that, but just wanted to show you her. All right, two things I'm very excited about. I got these, and I've always wanted one. I don't know why I didn't jump on it sooner. I've just had so much to do. This is the... A10 5800 APU Trinity from AMD. It's quad core processor, it's uh, 3.8 gigahertz with a turbo frequency of 4.2 gigahertz, right out of the box for the CPU part of it. Fully unlocked, so you can get these things up to around 5 gigahertz playing with it. Now, the, the APU part of it, I mean the GPU part of it is the HD7660, so it's a 7, 6, 7 series GPU in here, DirectX 11, I heard right out of the box on high, on regular 1080p you can get around 30 frame rates per second without a GPU with um, in Battlefield 3, that's just on high settings though, not on uh, ultra or anything like that, or any big resolution, but still that's amazing for no GPU. and the GPU I've heard overclocked from 950 megahertz all the way up to 1000 megahertz on the GPU end. So a really amazing CPU, extremely cheap. This is $129 I paid for this. For the whole setup that I'm going to show you, this is the top APU out at the moment, the 5800K um, A10, and the top motherboard out at the moment was the Acerock Extreme 6 which is right here, if I show you it the right way, which is right here, this is rated the top FM2 motherboard right now, with Sapphire right behind it, and Asus right up there with it, but this one beats them both. This has three PCI, this is a full ATX board with three PCI EX slots, which I'm going to be using this as a mining rig for now, so this will be holding either two or three 7970s on it. But let's take a look at, since there's not much to look at the APU besides tell you about it, these things are just amazing. So right here alone costs this total, top of each thing, and then the top of the line motherboard, top of the line APU, only $231 shipped. And I ordered it Sunday, and today is Tuesday morning, so I ordered it Sunday night, so it was like not even two days to deliver it. That's pretty amazing. Drop in some RAM. 1866 or better is recommended for these things to really pop. But dropping this, you know, even to even four gig of RAM, dropping four to eight gig of RAM, and you got yourself a system for cheap, cheap money, up to date, DirectX 11. You know, it's not gonna be the best game route, but most games are console ports anyway right now. So I highly recommend this for people with lower income. You know. Yeah, I love Intel. I chase Intel. Most of my builds are high-end Intels, but they're thousands and thousands of dollars. This setup here is $231, and you'll play most of the games I can play on my thousands of dollar machines, just with a little tweaking of the APU, a little overclocking of it. Um, some games, of course, you'll have trouble with, but that's just the case. But you'll still be able to play them. Well, let's get into the good stuff, since there's not much to look at the APU besides to tell you about it. You can read more online about it, but amazing APU. That's all I can really say about it. Fully unlocked, you can overclock everything. 4.2 gigahertz out of the box. How crazy is that? For quad core right out of the box. So this motherboard was $100. $99.99 for the top of the line for this socket. That's just crazy. When I think of the money I paid for, you know, my extremes, you know, or my, for the wind boards, I'm talking my cheapest boards are like $350. I 
This is $99 and it's the best for the socket. You know, you might prefer the Asus or whatever if you don't like Ace Rock, but they're all roughly about that price. Alright, and with this you get your standard back and plate, like anything else. But what is really cool, I want to show you guys, you get your manuals and your drivers and all that cool stuff. And you get some 6 gigabyte, I mean some SATA 3 cables and some SATA 3 cables. A bunch of those. So let's get to the board. As you can see, if I just buy the size of it so far, it is a full size ATX board. Not many accessories. Not like you really need them though. So they're set up. I actually want to take this completely out. Also, any standard cooler for AMD fits the AMD2 socket. I've already found that out. Which is pretty awesome. And this thing looks way hotter than I thought it was for the money. But I'll try to give you a really good view. The light's glaring on it. Figures I didn't close the window first. I'll try to get you the best shot I can. You see it has the nice Ace Rock chipset cooler down here. It's really nice underneath too, the cooler. And that's actually got plastic on it so it shines even better. It's got your three PCI Express lanes. Plenty of space in between so I could definitely get three cards on here. You can run four RAM modules. Um, you have regular two regular PCI. You have extra power if needed for for you know for your GPUs. I run that on all my boards. And the real nice MOSFET cooler. It's a really nice heavy duty one. I can see right away, as always, gold capacitors everywhere on this board. And it's got the real nice uh, MOSFETs. Um, what else do we have? We have this funny high feature, just like high-end boards. You got your reset, your power, and I can't remember if this has a do BIOS. Sorry, I can't remember that part, but it's possible that it has a do BIOS. But it takes your 8-pin up here. You have your USB 3 for extra USB 3 here. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven SATA ports, um, SATA 3, SATA 3, SATA 3, six of them are SATA 3, all, all of them are SATA 3, all seven ports are SATA 3, but imagine one's like a Marvel controller or something, um, it's got, it has Lucid on board, and it's already DirectX capable, I'm trying to find any other important stuff here. I can see the Realtek chip set, I mean the Realtek chip, but, um, oh, now for the good stuff though, the back of the board, right away, if you look, you can do one, two, three, four monitors right off this board, one you need the, the extra adapter for, um, I can't remember the name of it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. To do the the iFinity. But you can do three monitors right away. One HDMI, one DVI, one VGA. You have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six USB slots. Half of them, uh, it appears that four of them are uh, USB 3.0. You have your digital sound, you have your LAN, you have a Clear CMOS button right on the back, and of course, like we always love, they have the um, PS2 port for using old mice, a keyboard if you need to. But just a really, really nice board. Um, I wish I could show you a better look of it, but look it up, guys. It's the FM2 Extreme 6, and it's just an amazing board for. $99 so basically you put this board this chip drop a couple sticks of RAM in and that's it and plug it into a monitor you know plug a power supply in and plug it into a monitor and you're gone you're running I mean you can't beat that
So, I guess there's nothing else really to show you for this review. Sorry you couldn't see my face, but there's not much more to show you for this review. That's about it. Not review, really. I just was like an open box, I guess, thing. But, take care, guys, and I'll see you soon with something new.